Well, hello YouTube. I'm not very much for doing videos, but I have something here that might be of interest to some people. Follow this. I just bought a 1992 Geo Chevrolet Tracker, five speed, four by four. My plans are to tow it with my 1992 Dodge conversion van. So I bought a Harbor Freight Hallmaster tow bar to attach. Now having said that, it's missing the outer shell of the front bumper as you can tell. So I thought it would be an easy fix or an easy mount to put these brackets somewhere on here, drill holes, both sides. Well, I found out I can't do that because this part is a shell which wraps around another bumper inside. And you may not be able to tell, but it's only spot welded. So therefore, I'm not real crazy about the security of it. After looking at other YouTube videos and finding out there's all kinds of other bars and things that I need to buy or can buy or whatever, I started thinking of different ways to mount this. Now, after hours and hours of frustration, I found this. There is a tube that goes from here all the way through to the other side. And it goes through the uh, frame mount. I do not know what that tube is for, but I came up with an idea. And here it is. I went to Ace Hardware. I bought a piece of black pipe. Galvanized pipe will work just as well. One and a half inch outside diameter. That pipe cut down. I bought a 48 inch piece. Cut down to 44 inches. Goes all the way through. And since you're towing, you're not going to be overly concerned with the wheel hitting it. I already tested that, checked it out. So this bracket is going to fit on here like this, if you can see that, on both sides. Excuse my poor cinematography here. Like I said, I'm not good at this. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drill some holes. I chucked the standard bolts that came with it, which are metric, by the way. Also at Ace Hardware, I bought three inch standard bolts with the standard fit to go straight through. Now I'm going to take that pipe out of here. I am going to go drill holes in it and then we shall return. Stand by. Okay, now we have to prepare the pipe for drilling. What you're going to need is a straight edge that is approximately the same length as the pipe and a marking pen. I'm going to go get the marking pen be right back. I'm back. 
silver marking pen, black pipe. So I'm using this, which is commonly used for shelving because there's a inset and it will sit perfectly on the pipe. So if you get your mark like that, and like that, you'll have a straight fit for your brackets. It's like that on both sides. I've already measured and there's the right amount of pipes plus an extra quarter inch sticking out so that this will go straight through. Okay? And once again, I will be right back. I'm gonna drill the holes. All right, what you do is on that straight edge, set your bracket and make a crosshair so you know where your center is. Okay. Sorry, but I need three hands to do this. I am, but you, you get the idea, right? We're going to make crosshairs right there. I'll be right back. Okay. I have an older model um, portable hand press. Hopefully you guys got something better. Start with a smaller bit. Obviously, I don't have to tell you that. And get it going. don't want to watch me drill four holes and then four more with a larger bit so we're going to uh, pause this and come back when I'm done okay okay I got the first four pilot holes drilled uh, in which I used a quarter inch bit <clears throat> now I'm ready to switch to a half inch Okay, just so you know what I'm using, and uh, as you can see here, the holes are drilled, both ends, and now I'm going to make them larger, and we'll get them to uh, fit the bolt, all right, be right back. Okay, first one is done. Came out pretty good. And it goes straight through, as you can see there. All right, I got three more to go. And I'll be back shortly. Okay, everybody, I got all the holes drilled, as you can see. I'm going to take it on the grinder over here and uh, take off some of those sharp edges all the way around so I don't accidentally cut myself and once again everything fits good like it should as they say and we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing started all right I'll take you out to the uh, to the car when I'm all done or when I'm getting ready to install it okay we're going to go ahead and put the brackets on first I already checked them out and they all line up properly so what we're going to do is put one on one end first and then we're going to run the rod through put the other bracket on the other side and this can be taken off on and off quite easily when not in use okay all right the bolts i got are a little longer than i would have liked but they're good and we'll do the trick I'm utilizing uh, the back space that came with the kit and a, a little larger washer to hold it in place. Lock washers so they don't come loose.
So that's what it's going to look like. I hope I got it lined up. Then we're going to take it and run this through the tube and then put the other bracket on the other side. And that should be all we have to do until we put the uh, uh, the hitch on. Okay? Just make sure that you cut it properly to the right size so you don't have any more sticking out than is necessary depending on the size wheels and lift kit and whatever you might happen to have on there. All right? I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to get it all tightened up and slide it through. All right, we've got this thing all tightened up on one side only. So we're going to slide it right through. I'm going to position the camera. I hope that you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. All right. If not, all right, I think I can make, there we go. All right. So here we go. Slide this thing in. bracket over here that held the fender on it seems to be in the way a little bit all I got to do is turn the wheels and it should be able to clear the bracket and I'm going to try that right now okay hold on Excuse my leg there for a minute. Okay, it's perfect. Now, I just have to maybe bend that bracket up a little bit that held the uh, previous bumper on. The other side is already bent from an accident, so I'm gonna see if I can pound that out a little bit. Just make a little extra space there and we should be good, okay? Be back in a minute. All right, let's hope I can get this other one on without embarrassing myself. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got going on. If you can't see it, let me know. All right, by the way, when you put these things on, they have a cradle that is uh, welded in here. It's actually part of the bracket. So when you put your uh, trailer hitch in, you got something to lay it down on until you put your pin in. So here we go. spacer that they gave you. Lock washer. And a locking nut. This bracket here apparently held on whatever bumper was over here. It was already bent up from an accident. So I just went ahead and bent the other one up to match to make it easier for this to get in here. Okay. So all you have to do when you're not using this, you get the option to leave it in if you want, or just take one side out and slip it out.
Yeah. All right, so now all I got to do is tighten it up and we can go ahead and put this thing on. Let's get the uh, wrenches. Uh, this is three quarter, by the way. The uh, oops, the, uh, the the one that came with the kit was uh, 18 millimeter nut and a 19. I'm sorry, 18 millimeter bolt and a 19 millimeter nut. I don't know why they had different sizes, but they did. I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to give you a break, and we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, there it is. If you're doing this alone, uh, you're going to need to have a couple of little stools or blocks to make your life so much easier. Uh, but there it is. It's underneath here like this. And I know you see the bolts that are sticking up, but when this thing pulls, it will straighten. Okay, which I can't do because it's kind of heavy right now. Ugh. This will turn around. I guarantee it will turn around. I'm just, uh, like I said, it's just a little heavy for me to do that right now. But, and you can see it's got play there. So when you get this thing hooked up, you will be good. Good to go. And that's it. My inexpensive but safe, I do believe, way to uh, to tow a tracker. I think this will work even with a, uh, a bumper on here. But not having a bumper, I don't know how far down it goes. The, uh, that tube actually goes even or below this little air dam that uh, scoops air, or air scoop, scoops air onto the radiator. I only paid $700 for this little truck. So far I only got $50 in it in a master brake cylinder. And uh, it runs pretty good. And it is what is July 21st, 2022. So I think considering the date, I got a pretty good deal on this thing. And it's not a daily driver. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's just for knocking around and to use when we go camping, okay? All right, YouTube, thank you very much. If anybody can give me any kind of engineering advice as to why this may not be safe, although, like I said, that tube goes straight across from one side all the way to the other, and it is part of the frame. Okay, so it should be pretty strong. And that is uh, black steel pipe commonly used for wells. So it's very strong, a little difficult to uh, to cut through. And uh, as long as you got a drill press, hopefully better than the one I got, it should work out just fine for you. Okay? So there it is. And uh, all I can say is... Uh, Good luck, YouTubers and GeoTrackers. $79.95 at uh, Harbor Freight, 5,000 pound capacity. Uh, just a footnote, this trailer hitch does not come with um, safety chains. You're gonna have to get your own, as do I. Anyway, my little uh, POS is ready to rock and roll. Thanks, YouTube. Good luck.